When is the last time your nonprofit celebrated failing? I asked because one of the biggest things we did to shift our team's culture and mindset was, you know, a few years ago, we just felt like we weren't taking bold action. You know, we were plateaued, things were, you know, really difficult and, and like we needed some major changes within our organization. And so one of the things we did was in our, you know, team-wide powwows, we stopped only celebrating our wins and we added on celebrating our high impact fails. So what's a high impact fail? A high impact fail is when you try something for your organization and even though it didn't work out, it could have greatly moved your organization forward. And you have to celebrate those. Those shots that were taken and didn't work out need to be acknowledged. And, and, it, and it really encourages it. It fosters that into your overall environment and culture. So what could that look like for your nonprofit, right? Like, say you have a young, more junior team member, and they're just really into, uh, you know, social media on a personal level, and, and think the organization should be doing it more. Well, a high impact fail could be like, okay, cool. Well, that's great, but why don't you, you know, not only post on our social, but why don't you direct message a hundred social media influencers that might care about our mission? and see if you can you know, get into a conversation and see if just one or two will actually fundraise for our organization, right? If one or two actually fundraise for our cause because they care about our mission and you know, we can kind of go into that partnership together, that could be a huge win. But it could also not work out. And if it doesn't, we need to celebrate that they at least tried to start the conversation. Another example could be, you know, I hear so many nonprofits talk about you know, wanting more corporate sponsorships, but are frustrated that they don't really have any. Well, that takes a high impact fail. Like that's not just gonna show up at our door, right? So uh, a high impact fail could be, you know, we created a list of 10 to 25 organiz you know, companies in our region that might be a good fit for sponsorship. And then we hit them up on LinkedIn, we called them, we sent them emails, and we strategically went after all 25. And well, you know, hopefully it's a win. Hopefully it hits the win board. But even if it doesn't, that's a high impact fail where if it had, could have really moved our organization forward. So, you know, with that, I just, it's, it's a small tactic, something that we implemented years ago, but we still do today. And we get really upset. Like we get pissed, upset, pissed if there's no high impact fails on our monthly win board, because that means we're not pushing ourselves out of our comfort zone enough and we're not, we're not like really trying to, to ask ourselves, how do we take bold action to move our organization forward exponentially? Till next time, subscribe.